Hello everybody, happy Friday and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to play around with a floral mixed media abstract piece that I've kind of had rolling around in my head and we are going to actually use up some of those black and white collage papers that I made several videos ago. So if you're interested in seeing how I made any of those, go back and check it out. It's a great video and I think there's a lot of cool ideas that you might want to try in there. So right now what I'm doing is using some of my matte gel medium as an adhesive and I've got some book pages that I'm gluing down because they kind of fit in with that whole black and white theme and they work really nicely with what I had in mind here. I'm just gonna speed up the process a little bit for you. So as I had mentioned, we're using some of the black and white gel prints that I made a few videos ago. I went ahead of time and went through them all and just picked out some that I thought were going to go nicely with each other and would complement the book pages and complement each other and really come together to make an interesting black and white background for the piece that I had in mind. So what I also wanted to do was go in ahead of time and make some new gel prints in some very bright colors. My idea for this floral was something that was going to really stand out and contrast against the kind of plain black and white that's going on in the back. So I printed a lot of magentas and bright oranges and bright purples. And I did some pieces that you'll see that have a little bit of black on them too, so that it kind of pulls the background in and makes it make a little bit more sense. So what I'm doing here is just kind of ripping little petal shapes and I'm not doing anything precise. I'm not using scissors. I want a rough edge. I want everything to be very, noticeably abstract and kind of just go with the feel and tear whatever shape I'm going to need in the moment. Thank you. 
Once I've got the background petals set up, I went ahead and chose contrasting prints that will add a little bit of interest inside of each petal. Just kind of going with some sheer design and like I said, just everything is done by feel and what I think is going to look nice in the moment there. Just to give a little bit of variation to the petals so you don't just have a whole bunch of solid colors kind of just sitting on top of the surface. And once I've got everything pretty well decided, I'm starting to glue everything down using the matte gel medium. I've mentioned this in some of my other videos too. It's my medium of choice for using as an adhesive. I like the nice matte finish that it gives. Um, I don't really care for a lot of glossy. Sometimes I do, but I want to have that option at the end if I would so choose. So now I'm just getting everything laid down there and my intention when I set out to do this was to just have a single flower right in the as, as the center focal point but once I got this all down it kind of seemed like something was missing and I might want to add another one so you'll see here in a minute that that's what I go ahead and do. Here I'm starting on a smaller flower that I wanted to position just beneath and to the left of the larger one. There's going to be a noticeable size difference and that is of course on purpose. I could have chosen to do two the same size, but I think this composition worked out a little better. Once everything was done getting glued down, I gave it plenty of time to dry and I went in to do some line work. I wasn't sure initially if I was going to use the Micron pen or my Posca pen, which is an acrylic paint marker. That has a much thicker tip, even though it is a fine tip Posca, it's still much thicker than the Micron pen, which has a very fine point. So I decided I would start with that and kind of just see where it was going. And I think I made the right decision because Sometimes when you use too thick of a black line on a piece, it can become very cartoonish. And not that I meant for this to look realistic at all, like I said, it's an abstract, but I didn't want to go for the cartoonish look. So I could achieve thickness with the Micron pen, 
by coloring in and making the lines thicker on my own. Or you'll see here, I go in and do a little bit of cross hatching to make dark areas for the petals that are behind the others that I want to insinuate a little bit of shading with. Now that the floral part is done, I'm going in now with my micron pen to add a stem. And again, this is all just very rough, very abstract. I am not going for anything realistic, obviously, here. I want a certain look to it. I want to have a visual darkness to it. So a way that I can do that is by using very sketchy lines and also very sharp points. You'll see that I have some sharp, we'll call them corners on the stems that you wouldn't find necessarily in nature. But it's a good way to insinuate a visual darkness to the piece. Now that the flowers and the stems are completely done, I decided I wanted to add some leaves to the stems. And I thought that those would look best done in a black color. So I had an extra print that was mostly just black that I decided to tear some leaves out of. And I think this looked really nice against the white background because we've got the brightness of the flower, we've got the black and white in the background, and doing the darkness of the leaves, I think really just added a nice little visual punch that was needed down there.
And here's the finished piece. I am super happy with the way this turned out. I absolutely love the brightness of the flower against the darkness of the background. I think it contrasts perfectly. I'm really happy with the composition. I just think all in all, this is a really successful piece. I don't think I mentioned in the beginning that this is a nine by 12 uh, gallery wrapped canvas that I'm using, but I did want to mention that now. But anyway, thank you all so much for stopping in to check out this video as always. Please leave me a like and please subscribe if you haven't. It's a great way to help out my channel and I will continue to put out great content for you every week. Have a great day.